Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Runyon, and I own a cash physical therapy uh, practice in Colorado Springs, backcountry physical therapy. And today I wanted to go over cash physical therapy, paying out of pocket, like how does it work? What does it mean? There's a lot of misconceptions out there about how cash PT works and what your insurance can do for you. And there's a lot of reasons why it makes sense to go out of network and not necessarily um, go to a provider that works directly with your insurance company. So we're gonna lay out some different reasons for why it makes sense to, um, to choose someone out of network and uh, talk about each individual one. So the first reason, number one, is that it will end up oftentimes saving you time. And time is our most precious resource um, it's something we all get the same amount of each and every single day, uh, no matter whether you're young or old, poor or rich, we all get 24 hours in a day. And for you to be able to save time is a huge deal. So what do we do to save time? We are very much more efficient with your time when you're in the office. Um, a lot of times when you're working with someone who is in network with insurance, your PT seeing two or three people at a time, and they may not be able to spend as much of that time with you. So you're in there for an hour, sometimes more, uh, at an in-network PT, but you only got to see the PT themselves for 20 minutes, and you didn't get as much done as you could have. And therefore, it then also takes more visits for you to get the results that you want. Um, a lot of times, we can get done in two or three visits, what it takes, five or 10, at, uh, at a traditional clinic, you know, um, a lot of times I say like really about six visits, uh, six to 10 visits is what it takes to get where you want to be, depending on each person, each person's a little bit different. Um, whereas, you know, most pl full plans of care, uh, are 20 to 30 visits in a traditional clinic. Um, so they're asking you to come two or three times a week. That's a lot of time in terms of taking time off of work, finding babysitters, um, all this kind of stuff that, and driving to the clinic that just takes more time. Why not get more done when you're in the clinic and then have more time to spend with your family later? So reason number two uh, is along with saving time is that we are usually able to save you money as well. And you may say, wait a minute, Physical therapy is free if I go in with uh, Aetna or uh, Medicare or whoever <clears throat> might be covering me. You may think that, but it's not true. We all have deductibles. We all have co-pays. So what you, uh, you have to pay money no matter what. If you're lucky, maybe you've got like a $50 copay, $50, $60 copay. A lot of people are way higher. A lot of people have $7,500 copays for each physical therapy visit. So we talked about how we save you time by not asking you to come in as often, say once a week versus two or three times a week. So add that up. You know, if I'm coming, you know, 20 times as opposed to eight or six or something like that, that's a huge difference. That's a big difference in um, how much money I'm paying because uh, my co-pays are adding up. And that doesn't even include deductibles. If you haven't hit your deductible, you may be paying 100% out of pocket to begin with. Um, and a lot of times people get hit with bills that are unexpected at the end because some service wasn't covered and they thought it was supposed to be. Um, so the insurance refuses to pay for it and then you're paying that out of pocket anyway. Why not avoid any surprises and just know directly up front, this is what it costs and this is uh, what's gonna work for me to get me where I wanna be. So reason number three, um, insurance companies have problems with actually giving you your benefits. Um, and so a lot of times we're waiting on authorization for more visits. They may say, we're gonna give you six or 10 to start, and then you run out of those, and then you've gotta wait while the paperwork goes through before your next batch of visits is approved. So you may have a week or two weeks or a month or something in between while you wait for that to happen. Uh, when I've worked in insurance-based clinics, it was always a problem because that would not allow them to make the, pro the, the progress they were making would basically stop. And sometimes it would even get worse 
um, while they were out of the clinic. Um, they didn't follow up on the things they were supposed to the way that they should, and uh, they didn't hold themselves accountable. So they didn't stick up with their exercises, and it didn't. Uh, it, it ended up making them worse over that period of time. So no waiting on authorizations. You go in when you need to, and the insurance company doesn't say when you can and can't go. Um, number four, along, <clears throat> is that you will also not get uh, cut off completely by insurance. So, along the lines we talked last about the authorization issue. So they may not decide to give you more visits. They may say you're done, and then that's it. You're done with the in-network clinic. There, you have no more visits to use. So now you're just kind of lost. You're like, what do I do? Um, I can't see my PT anymore. How do I continue to make progress? That's not a question when you're going with someone out of network. We work for you, not for the insurance company. So we're done when uh, you and I decide that we're done, not some third party sitting in an office in Boston or something. It's between you and I. That's who's making the decision. And that's a huge benefit. Um, number five is that we can work on different parts of the body. Um, insurance companies will say they're in here for their ankle. You can only work on things related to the ankle. And if during your course of care, something comes up with your shoulder, too bad. We're only paying for the ankle. Um, and we're not going to find ways to tie the shoulder into the ankle. Um, we can't work on that. You're going to have to figure that out some other way, some other time. You have to go to your doctor, get another referral. Um, come in on completely separate visits for completely diff different things. It's a mess. It's an absolute mess of paperwork and red tape. And that is, again, not the case with a cash-based provider. You get to work on the body part that's most important to you. So if you say, hey, you know, my ankle is feeling better. Um, let's put that on the back burner for a little bit. Let's focus on the shoulder. We do it. There's no questions about it. Um, you know, we make the best decision for you. Um, as opposed to um, what the paperwork says that we need to do. Reason number six is that we also get to work on what's important to you in terms of activities. Insurance companies don't care if you can go to the gym. They don't care if you can hike. They don't care if you can ski, um, if you can play with your kids. They just care about the basics. Can you get out of bed, drive to work, drive back, and you know, cook your meals at home. That's about it. They honestly don't care about anything else. So if, if an in-network provider is trying to work on return to sport um, activities, trying to get max deadlifts, um, trying to make sure that you can run that marathon, uh, things like that, they're gonna fight back and say, hey, this is not what we're paying for. We're paying for basic functional needs only. And uh, that really limits what people can do. And um, again, you're not getting the most out of what your physical therapist knows and is capable of. And th then in turn, you're not getting the most out of yourself as well. Number seven, uh, reason to pick a, a cash PT is for our wellness options. Um, so once you're feeling better, uh, a lot of our clients continue to work with us on kind of a wellness basis. They're feeling better. They're feeling strong again. Um, they just want to make sure that they are not going to have um, other things pop up uh, along the way. So they see us maybe once a month or so. And then every time they come in, they already have an idea of like, this is how my last month went. This is how I, what I want to go over. And they've already got that booked on, on, the, on, on the books. So if something comes up a week before that appointment, they already know I'm seeing my PT next week. I can talk to him about what's going on and uh, you know, then they can just be on top of things as they come along. That's not an option with insurance providers. They're not going to pay for that. Number eight is the personalized service that you get with a cash PT. I don't know of any other um, physical therapists, uh, uh, ones that are in network that are going to say on the very first visit, here's my phone number, call me, text me. I don't care if it's the weekend. Um, you know, I'll get to you as soon as I can. Let me know if something's going on. Let me know if you hurt yourself doing something and you want more advice. Um, let me know if you're having trouble with your exercises. 
Um, let me know your wins too. You know, let me know that, <clears throat> you know, you were able to um, walk for five miles without pain and that's something that you wanted to do. Or, um, you know, that you had a great vacation and you felt so much better because of the work you put in at PT. That is something that uh, is very rare in the healthcare industry these days and being a cash PT lets us do that. Number nine, the last one uh, we're gonna cover in this series is getting better results. Everything we just talked about comes back to number nine, getting better results, that's what really matters. Um, you're less likely to go back to physical therapy uh, <clears throat> after you've gone through a course of care with us because uh, we've challenged you in ways that insurance won't let us do. We haven't had any um, backslides because of losing um, insurance benefits. And you got to work on the things that matter to you. You got to work on those high level goals that you have. And that allows you to get better, feel better, stay better, get stronger than you were before you came to see us in the first place. And that's what it's really all about. Catch PT, get you better results, get you better faster, get you back in the game. And that's why we love what we do.